Um, well, to begin with, this, this was a, a very big day uh, for us. It was senior day. We have four great seniors, uh, Angel Rodriguez, Sheldon McClellan, Yvonne Cruz, you say that, and, and Tanya Jakiri. And the one thing we didn't want is them to end their senior years uh, on a loss. And um, the game was very much in doubt. Uh, midway through the second half, we fell behind. And uh, at a timeout, I stopped uh, on hell as he came off the court and um, said to him, listen, you need to show everybody in this arena how hard you're willing to play to win this game, how important this game is to you, and your teammates will follow. I want you to pick up their point guard full court and play with great defensive intensity, and you'll see what happens. And from that moment on, he was absolutely sensational. The best player on the court at both ends of the court, scoring, dishing, rebounding. He had a fantastic rebound. His on-ball pressure created in his teammates a vision of how we expected them to play, and uh, we were able to come back and, and win a you know a, a great game against a very highly regarded team. Oh, we're very very uh, proud not only of our seniors but uh, of the entire team, how well we've played at home this season, and we're very appreciative of our students who camped out last night. And then our fans who have supported this team throughout the year. That was our last home game of the season. And now we've got to go on the road for two more regular season games and then the ACC tournament and hopefully beyond. Questions? Coach Pitino specifically mentioned about Angel that this is a completely different player from last year. He said that he seems lighter, faster, less erratic, all of that. Can you just talk a little about that evolution from last year to this year? Well, the year that... Uh, that he sat out, um, Angel was fantastic in practice. Uh, last year, he was fantastic some of the time, but his performances were somewhat inconsistent. And and you know maybe he was affected because sometimes he didn't shoot the ball particularly well, and that bothered him mentally. But this year, he went through a tough period as well and fought through it. He just kept plugging away. He quit worrying about scoring, and he started concentrating on his defense and his, and his ball handling, and then pretty soon he started making all his shots. You know, that, that's the funny thing about shooting. You know, you, you worry about it if you miss, and you remember your misses more than you remember your makes. It's a problem. And he overcame that in January and he has, has started every game in his two-year career here that he's been healthy. Uh, but he plays so hard, he's, he's been banged up. He missed seven or eight games last year due to injury. But uh, today's performance, I, I would say, uh, go, goes down in, in Miami basketball annals as one of the best second-half performances by any guard I've coached. just playing harder. We were just playing with great energy and determination. We kept telling them at timeouts, listen, we're playing okay, we're in the right place, we're not stopping them. You gotta stop them, you gotta make them miss, you gotta get the rebound. And uh, in that last 10 minutes, I think we had six consecutive stops at one point late in the game. Yeah, it's, it, you know, he's, he's been suspended. We're going to miss him. He's a great kid and made a mistake, and now he's paying the price. I'm very fortunate that the team didn't have to pay the price today. Um, but he'll be back with, with us for the ACC tournament and um, learn from, from this lesson. Um. When I put Ivan Cruz Yuseta in to sub, um, I told him to take uh, 
Chinanu on Oahu and put Tanya uh, on, on Johnson or Spalding because I wanted Tanya in better position to help the others. Chinano is a very hard matchup. You gotta really focus so much on him, it's, it's hard then to go help. So Yvonne went in and told Tanya what I said, and he said, no, I'll, I'm guarding him. So he picked up his, his fourth foul, <laughs> and when they came to the bench, I said to him, Listen, let, let me do the coaching for a while. You know, I love you, man, but there's a reason I put put Yvonne on him. Now Yvonne's on him, and you're not even in the game. You're on the bench in tr foul trouble. But the great part, I put him back in with seven and a half minutes to go. He didn't pick up his fifth foul. He's so smart, and he's so important to us. Can't really afford to have him on the bench very often and certainly don't want him on the bench because he's in foul trouble. He should be on the bench to rest. That's it. Yes. Yeah, he was terrific. Oh, he's played like he did earlier in the year. And it's been tough on him because Kamari Murphy's been such a valuable asset to us at the defensive end of the floor and rebounding wise. Uh, but it, we're at our best when both Kamari and Yvonne are playing really, really well and at a high level. Well, we talked to all our players about the importance of consistency. You know, the, the most difficult guy to coach is the guy who plays great one night and awful the next. And uh, in, in Angel's case, as is with, with uh, all our players, we're teachers as coaches. And we're, we're trying to bring attention to the areas of their game and our game that they have to be really good at. So in Angel's case, we need him to be a terrific ball handler, passer, shooter, defender. He, he's involved in every aspect of the game. And the more consistently he plays at both ends, the more consistent our defenses, our offenses, and even our rebounding. Did you guys see the rebound that he got? Oh, it was amazing. Now I'm going to expect him to rebound a heck of a lot more. I'd, I'd like to give it a lot of credit uh, because I thought our lack of defense early in the game allowed them to score very easily. And our great intensity and teamwork, it was not one guy then. Angel set the stage, but everybody else picked it up. James Palmer did a great job. Davon did a great job. Sheldon gave him a lot of rest in the second half. He came in and played great defense down the stretch. And Tanya, Kamari, Yvonne. And then the unsung hero, uh, Anthony Lawrence, you know, came in. He played like the last 10 minutes of the game. He gave us an additional ball handler. He made that big three. He gave us some inside defense. So he got a big rebound late in the game, gave it right to Davon Reed. So, well, this is, wait, one, before I go, I, I, this has been a, a great year. I want to thank all of you for coming and joining us on a regular basis. We appreciate all the articles and the coverage by the TV and radio. I also have some very special guests who joined us for the last home game this season. My brother Bob and his wife Mary are here, and his son, son Jim, and his wife Jennifer flew in from, from uh, Minnesota. So uh, they came a very long distance, and I'm very appreciative they brought us good luck, because if, if we lost, we wouldn't be going to dinner. <laughs> but we will be going to dinner now. Thank you.